My name is Ming from Ming's World of Web Design and Graphics. And I, today I'm here to discuss with you um, how you're going to fix, how you're going to solve the problem when your website gets infected by a virus or by a malware and Google makes a big warning sign to block everybody from visiting your site because you have some harmful you know, things in your website that might harm your computer. So you really get a problem when these things happen to you. First of all, I would suggest that you contact your web host and inform them that um, your site got infected and if they would please clean it up. Uh, normally this is part of their you know, services to you, so um, ask them to clean it up. But then afterwards they will write you back and tell you that it's clean now, but you have to contact Google yourself and inform them to lift the ban or the warning on your site. And the, the web host, normally they already know ahead of time that your, your site has been infected by a virus. You know, they, they would see that it acts up. And they would already write an email to clean up your computer or do something because your site is infected. So I'd suggest that when your website is clean, also clean up your computer. Um, make sure that there are no virus because it probably the virus probably came from your computer. And there's a lot of open source, source software and also just paid softwares, you know. And I've used uh, this malware bytes anti-malware. It's pretty good. But there are other also softwares like stopbadware.com or something like that. And um, so scan your computer and um, once your site is clean and your computer is clean, I would suggest you go to Google, contact Google and inform them to please lift up the warning or unblock your computer, you know, uh, because they block it right now. So please lift up the warning because it doesn't look good when your site has this Google alert warning. So uh, this is the problem that this is a challenge to contact Google because they don't really have a contact number and an email. They just have forums where, where you can visit them and um, you could report your problem and there's all these people who check the form on a regular basis and do help out. So I would suggest that you go to uh, Google Webmaster Tools and if you don't have a an account yet, sign up for an account and um, once you're inside the Google you know, Webmaster Tool you could, you know, um, first they want to verify your site that's a prerequisite so they'll send you a set of codes and then you put that codes in your website and upload it in your server and then send them the link and then once your site is verified, you can tell them to please look at your website. These are the, the, explain to them the things you have done to clean up your site and please remove the block and they do that for you. Sometimes it takes a couple of days, sometimes it takes weeks. It depends, you know, the, on your site, how clean it is. But uh, these things, how do these things happen, you know? Um, I don't know, I mean, there's all these, you know, virus as long as there's internet will always be more sophisticated virus once you you know prevent it from happening then there'll be more other virus that will come so as long as we have internet there will always be virus but you know there's really no cure for that but there are preventive measures like I suggest you know uh, changing your password consistently and really getting difficult passwords and um, let me see also WordPress uh, sites are prone to virus attacks, you know, so make sure that you really upgrade uh, the latest, you know, WordPress software that would help to, and um, I guess um, that's about it. Um, I hope I'm able to help you and, you know, make sure you have a backup of your site too, because sometimes once you, you know, the site is back, it's just not acting normal. There's just some scripts that have been turned off and things like that, so you could also, at least if you had a backup of your site, you can always upload it again. So, um, I guess that's it, I hope I was able to help you. Okay, thank you, have a nice day, bye.